I'll save the shooting for down in the hunting ground. Ready to try another? Pick one of these trials and I'll explain it. Test your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts off the backs of grazers as quickly as possible. Hope you enjoy it. I'll start timing when you slide down one of the ropes. Well, you're fun. <laughs> skin and fire.
first time out, and that's how you do it. Here's a half sum. Go a little faster next time, and you'll earn a full sum. This trial tests your ability to use the environment to your advantage. Shoot log piles to make them fall, crushing machines below. Remember, you can use explosions from your blast sling to scare machines into fleeing where you want them to go. I like that one. Slide down a rope and I'll start timing.
You won a full sun on your first try. Improve on your time, and you could win the blazing sun. This trial requires you to bring grazers down with blast wires. But you'll need the Karja Tripcaster and ammunition to do it. My friend here may have them for sale. I have to go. I'll be here if you decide to come back. Would you like to give it another? Use your blast wire and card your trip caster to bring down grazers. I'll be timing you. Explosions scare them, so you may want to use your blast sling to drive them into your traps. Perfect. I'll start timing when you start down a rope. I need to keep my kit dry. Traveling a bit.
You won a full sun on your first try. Improve on your time, and you could win the blazing sun. You have everything you need to enter the Hunter's Lodge. Good luck in Meridian. Of course, you can still run more trials with me. I should go. Come back when you're ready.
Can't be too prepared. I'll find a use for you. I have three sons. Now they'll let me inside the Hunter's Lodge. Well, let's see how that turns out. She fought like a sawtooth. Like he's suffering. Yes. It's only a matter of time before he passes on. I've seen people die before, but never in such pain. I want to be strong like you, but nothing I do comforts him. I don't even have any dream will it ease his pain. There should be some in stashes along brave trails to the east, but I must keep vigil for this man. I don't suppose you could check the stashes? Even a little dream willow would ease his pain. How did the man you're caring for get hurt? He was one of the war party, wounded in battle down the ridge there. He was too weak to be carried back to Mother's heart, so they brought him here. I'm supposed to comfort him, but all I can do is whisper, tell him to think of his mother's smile. Could you see the ambush from here? I heard it. Explosions and screams and, and howls of machines like monsters. That's what he keeps groaning and muttering about. Machines like nightmares ripping everyone to shreds. If only I could calm him. Help him forget all that and go to all mother in peace. Tell me what you need again. Dream willow. An oil made from the bark of water willows. That brings sleep and numbs pain. My supply is gone, but hunters keep it in stashes along brave trails. Out of reach of beasts and machines. There should be some left in the stashes along trails to the east. You're young for a healer, aren't you? Yes. Besides, this brave is beyond healing. What he needs is someone to stay with him. And that, I can do. I'll check the stashes for Dream Willow if I get a chance. You will? Thank you. My only wish is to ease this poor man's suffering. I 
give me nightmares. Pleading. You're Aloy, aren't you? They say you've been made a seeker with rite of passage from the sacred land. Yes. To track the killers who attacked the proving. I can't imagine leaving all mother's protection. But my sister Nicola is like you. Fearless. She went north to find a Karja officer called Zaid, one of the captains of the Red Raids. He's dangerous. I'm really worried about her. Did the Matriarchs really give Nikoa permission to leave? No. They refused her. But nothing could stop her from going after Zaid. He... He murdered our father during the Red Raids. Nikoa saw it happen. Hid in the cellar and forced herself to watch. It changed her. I lived in the Embrace during the Red Raids. What was it like out here? <laughs> For ten years, the Karja attacked without warning. Devils like Zaid butchered braves and kidnapped civilians for blood sacrifice. It all ended when the mad Sun King died. The matriarchs say his son wants to set things right. But that wasn't enough for Nicole. You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred land and be purged from all mother's eternal memory? No. I begged Nicole to stay so she could avoid that fate. She said she didn't care. I don't know. Will she really be cursed for avenging our father? It seems cruel. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, Mother, bless you. I know the matriarchs won't let her return to the sacred lands, but I just need to know that she's all right. She must have passed through Mother's crown. My aunt Salai lives there. They might have spoken. Maybe she can tell you more. Um. Maybe there's a way to override them. Where would I find it? Trail. Should be a cache of dream room up there. Here we 
we go again. No dream, Willow. Just a few shards. Dream on those caches. Feel what's now. Do you want this?
You're back. I've already been to those stashes. All I found was a few shards. That's strange. Who would have taken the Dream Willow? It's possible that Jun has gathered more. You could ask him, if you're willing to make the journey. You say someone named Jun might have some Dream Willow? Yes. He may be a recluse, but he helps the tribe by picking herbs and brewing medicines. The problem is that he lives west of Mother's Crown, and the machines in that region are... troublesome. What sort of machines? Scrappers. And sawtooths. It's quite dangerous. I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Look up. I'm locked. 
locked in. Is someone there? Please let me out. Oh, mother be praised. I thought I'd never be free. What happened? A gang of outcasts, that's what. They burst in, stole my dream willow, and left me to die. Why would outcasts steal your dream willow? Why? Because it's the most valuable herb I gather, of course. Miserable thieves. They took nothing else? No. Mark my words. They have struck a deal with outsiders. It shards thereafter, and they'll kill to get it. A gang of outcasts? Yes, a gang! The door crashed open. I didn't stand a chance. They grabbed my dream willow and left me for dead. Which way did the outcasts go? Up the mountain, I think. You might catch them if you hurry. Whatever you do, don't let their shabby looks fool you. They'll kill you as soon as look at you. Oh, I need to catch my breath. Yeah, you could stop talking for a start. The outcasts must have left tracks. My focus should pick them up. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry.
You have our thanks, if the gratitude of outcasts means anything to you. It does. You not only save us, but speak to us. The matriarchs cast me out at birth. The laws of the Nora don't mean much to me. And you're that girl whose mother never claimed her. But an outcast no longer. No. A seeker, in fact. Looking for Dream Willow. Hmm. That could be a problem. Why did you take the Dream Willow? Because we have wounded. Why else would we take it? Something terrible has happened to the tribe. The Braves offer no protection. The machines are angry, and bandits infest the sacred land and prey upon us. Why else would outcasts break custom and band together, but that we have no choice? Even so, we did not steal. We left shards in the stashes and tried to pay Jun. But of course he would not speak to us. John said you roughed him up. He was too busy cringing to know what happened. The man's a coward. We made sure not to hurt him, not that he seemed to notice. There are others who need Dream Willow. You can't have all of it. You asking or demanding? Talking. One person to another. I see. Perhaps we have more than we need. After everything that happened, we were afraid. We took all we could find. Here, I'll keep a portion, but the rest... ...may it find its way to those who need it. I'll see that it does. In the meantime, stay safe. And stick together. Quick way down. Here's the Dream Willow. Take it to Fia and Mother's Rise. There are wounded braves there who need it badly. I will. But what became of the outcasts? Did those wretches pay for their crimes? Ganging up together, speaking to each other, and to us. I hope you showed them no mercy. You don't know who I am, do you? Should I? I was raised as an outcast in the mountains above Mother's heart. The motherless girl. If I'd known, I never would have spoken to you. You'd like to think you're better than others, don't you, John? But really, all you are is a small man with a small heart. And when you die, no one will even notice. At least I know outcast. That's right. You're not even that. The outcasts reached out to each other. But you? You're nothing. I'm done here. Make sure that Fia gets that Dream Willow, or I'll be back.
Look out below! Mother's Only this must be Mother's crowd. So I should be around here somewhere. So many wounded. Next time, try oh, has been hit hard. Here she is. They made her a seeker. Come here, girl. Let's have everywhere. a look at you. Oh, Mother, forgive us. Protect us. My own death. What happened to you, Hunter? Are you all right? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it, too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. A cauldron? What's that? Ah, you're from inside the embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off, and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. There's a reason the matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. But for a moment, you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is, you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. You're a clever one. But not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. Fine. You're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. The border is closed, but it won't stop the corruption. Mark my words. You can't fall apart now. The tribe needs you. It hurts now, but I'm all the wiser. You're the seeker. The one who was an outcast. My hunting party... My party has... You fought the killers, didn't you? The ones that attacked in the Proving. You saved many lives. 
I wish I could have saved everyone. Did you... Did you... How far did you follow the killers? What are you getting at? Are you worried your hunting party has been killed? There are worse things than being killed. What was your hunting party doing? After the proving, we were so angry. We wanted to strike back. And those corrupted machines left tracks we could follow. We caught up to them at dusk. We fought with all our burning hatred. But in the dark and chaos, I... I couldn't see everything. They stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, but my party is... Your party is... Gone. What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. I'm afraid... My friends went into the ruins. I can't go there, or... I will be cast out, but I can't abandon them either. Tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Find my friends. We were so eager to fight the corrupted machines, we didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please, have pity on us. Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing to worry about on that end, trust me. I'll see what I can do about your friends. Next time, I'll remember what the Matrix is hard to order. <sighs> well, I hope you're looking to buy. I'm heading for the border. You're a traitor? What do you know of the Karja tribe or their capital, Meridian? I've never left our sacred land, but I've traded with Karja outlanders from time to time. Too fancy for their own good, if you ask me. As for Meridian, it's all they talk about. A city built atop a mesa, with soaring towers, high as mountains. How did the Karja ever come to build such marvels? Slave labor. But their new king has forbidden slavery. <laughs> I guess he cares more about justice than new construction, huh? See anything you like? Well, I'll be off. I hope business picks up. Thanks. Me too. Brave! Mother's crown could make use of your bow. Me? Well, you are a brave, aren't you? We need boar skins. Our stitcher works his hands raw, repairing cloaks and armor. 
There's good boar hunting to the east, past the falls. But there's a machine out there now. When I saw it, I dropped the hunt, ran for cover, knocked an arrow, but then I... No shame in living to fight another day. No, it's... My ring had come loose. That was my luck in the wild. My mother's mother's prized from a machine's jaws long past. You put that much trust in a ring? After all that's happened, I need luck as much as the tribe needs those skins. I'll see what I can find. If you can help, you have my thanks. I'll be at the campfire when you come by again. I said I'd meet Varl and Sona near Red Echoes. Oh, it's you. The outcast turned seeker. I've heard you're good with bow and spear. You, some even say you're the best. I think I hear a challenge in there somewhere, and I'm not interested. I have more important things to do. Oh, I see. The Seeker doesn't have time for us lesser Nora. Too busy hunting machines and marauders. Well, I can't claim to have faced the corrupted or danced with demons, but I have earned a few sons at the hunting grounds at Valley Meet. Have you? Or maybe your seeking hasn't taken you that far. You went to a hunting grounds in Valley Meet. Is that even in the sacred lands? Depends on who you ask. It used to be ours, but since the Red Raids ended, the border is a bit... unclear. Most Nora don't go there, but the Matriarchs won't cast anyone out for heading that way. As for the hunting grounds, the Keeper's a Karja. He can't refuse anyone the trials, but don't come on too strong. <laughs> He's so afraid of the Nora, he might jump out of his skin. <laughs> How did you win those sons? I took down machines with three different types of arrows. Freeze, shock, and fire. If you aim to take a trial, you'd better come equipped. But I'm sure a seeker is always prepared, right? Do you try to provoke everyone you talk to? Only seekers with red hair and big reputations. And how often do they come around? You're the first I've seen today. If your seeking takes you to the hunting grounds, see if you can earn a blazing sun. If you do, you'll know you beat me. Consider it done. Surely the cards of Faithless would not turn on us again. I can't believe such a thing. Are you Salai? Jan said your niece may have come through here. Nikoa. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Jan wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. I've... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Day Tower, looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. Is there anything you can tell me about Day Tower? It's a Karja fort, right at the border. Bastards used to gather Nora captives there, so they could ship them to Meridian for slaughter. I told Nikoa not to go. What's a lone Nora gonna do there? But she wouldn't listen. All she can think about is finding Zaid. What do you know of Zaid? He's a rabid animal, a murderer. The worst of the Red Raiders. Killed my brother while poor Nikoa watched from the shadows. Even as I begged her not to go, part of me wanted her to. I need him dead as much as she does. You can't imagine what it's like. He... he mutilated my brother. And yet he walks free among the Karja. I understand. Better than you think. I'll look for Nakoa when I reach Day Tower. I'm not sure you can reach it. I've heard they closed the gates because of this, this corruption among the machines. But Morea might know more. Just don't mention why you're asking. I won't. I promise. The corruption looks everywhere. It said the Karja Fort has closed the border. The valley is sealed.
corruption drives the machines to its work. Never seen anything like it. My own damn fault. Should have got out of there quick. The girl with the mark of a seeker. The Sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it. But their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley, all by yourself. I'm good with a bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown. Relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we've left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. How far has the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley. And there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. This is a curse only the goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight and pray to the goddess. Mother's crown guards the edge of the sacred land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. 